Good morning. It's good to be with you again this morning. Um, again, as you know, I'm, I'm building on the four pillars of a healthy Christian business leader. And um, each week I'm dealing with one pillar. Last week we dealt with the pillar of healthy relationships. This week is pillar number two, which is biblical financial values. And then the next week will be biblical spirituality. And then the last week in, in February, we'll be dealing with balanced living. So again, this week we're dealing with uh, the focus is on biblical financial values. And um, the series title for this week is simply, When is Enough Enough? On Monday, we, we talked about how, you know, the question, can we have too much? And, and we literally, uh, really, the, the, the emphasis on Monday was we need to define when, or what, what is enough. Um, otherwise, we're just going to be running around in circles. Um, and uh, as, as Solomon put it, it's a vanity of vanities, or it is basically just, uh, you know, a waste of time running after something that you, you can never get. And uh, John D. Rockefeller certainly uh, showed that even though all that he had, uh, he still wanted more. And, and we can fall into that same trap. So that was Monday. And then on Tuesday, yesterday, we talked about the greener grass. And we learned from Lot that uh, although um, the idea of greener grass may seem great. Good morning, Jeremy. Good to have you on with me this morning. Um, it's good to, you know, to uh, recognize that um, in Lot's life, the reality was the greener grass led to disastrous results. And not that it always does, and there are times when we sometimes might need to make a change, but we need to be careful that we're not just going after greener grass for the sake of the greener grass. And then today, today we're talking about bigger barns. Um, is your business doing well? Um, are you looking at expanding uh, in these COVID days? Um, I know that there are businesses that are. There are businesses that are doing great. Um, obviously, I know that 2020 has been a hard year for many. And um, so you might wonder why even talk about bigger barns at this time. But, but I know for some businesses, actually, 2020 and, and 2021 are, are, 2020 was great and 2021 is looking good. Um, and so the question is, again, about the bigger barn. So the, what was the issue that Jesus was dealing with in Luke chapter 12, verses 16 to 21? Um, this is where he gives the parable of the farmer whose success was staggering um, to the point that he decided that he's going to build bigger barns and he was simply just going to lay back and, and relax. He said, I got enough for the rest of my life, like for years and years to come. And I don't know if you're familiar with that parable, but in that parable, um, God says, you know, that he's a fool because this very night, um, God is uh, requiring his soul from him. And, uh, and, and the man dies. And now who's going to get everything that he has stored in his bigger barns? So this parable raises a number of questions for us. And uh, one question that it raises is, um, should we... Should we not ever expand our business? And, um, you know, and, and I think we need to be very careful with that. I don't, I don't think that that's what Jesus was getting at. I don't think he was saying that it's wrong to expand your business. Um, and, and if your business is doing well this year um, and you have the opportunity to expand and, and give more people op uh, opportunity for employment or anything like that, obviously that is going to be a good thing. Um, and so the idea that um, we should never expand again, I, I don't think that's what Jesus was after. And uh, of course, the other, the next question then, of course, is, is it ever wrong to retire? And uh, again, I, I don't think that, that was the issue that Jesus was dealing with. He wasn't saying never retire, always keep working, never, never stop running your business and, and you should always be striving. Well, that contradicts other scriptures. So I, I don't think Jesus was saying that either. He wasn't talking about the issue of, of retiring. I think um, certainly uh, in North America, the idea of retiring is a, is a big thing. And, and I would say in Europe as well. Uh, in some countries, uh, the concept of retiring is really kind of a foreign idea. But uh, nevertheless, I don't think that um, the issue there is that we should never retire. I think that there comes a point in time in life when we need to be able to say, you know what, um, I, I've got enough and I'm able to uh, you know, take time to retire. Now, what should retirement look like? And we can talk about that on another day. Um, we're not gonna talk about that today, but um, what is the issue 
of uh, so what's the issue with this uh, bigger barn uh, that we should be watching out for um, and, and I think that is really kind of where I want to camp today is is what is the issue um, and, and the issue is made clear really by verses 13 through 15 so actually before the parable is given um, a question is raised to Jesus and Jesus's answer then is actually the parable and the issue there was um, you know the success of the farmer again was not the issue it was not the fact that he did well uh, the fact that he did well I mean we, we would say that you know that there's a real blessing from God and it's great that he did well but the bigger barns again you know they weren't the issue the fact that he built bigger barns and expanded his business that was not the issue the issue was an issue of greed and and that is the issue that um, Jesus was dealing with here it was the fact that you know the, the, they were looking to just you know in this case this this guy was saying I'm going to take care of myself and I'm not caring for anybody else and so I've got everything I need and who cares about the rest of the world and part of the whole thing of biblical uh, financial values is understanding the balance between um, having enough for myself and earning well and doing well for myself and providing for my family and even providing for my retirement but then also knowing and understanding that I have a responsibility to the world around me as well and um, you know at, at a later time we'll be talking more about that aspect of our responsibility to the world but the issue here literally was the fact that this man was just simply greedy he was saying it's all mine and I'm going to keep it and I'm not going to share with anybody I'm not going to help anybody I'm going to just take care of myself and so again Jesus is not saying don't expand your business Jesus is not saying don't uh, retire um, he's not suggesting any of those things um, but what he is saying is is that um, when we expand our business, um, there needs to be an understanding of uh, our responsibility to the world around us. Even when we retire, there is a responsibility to the world around us. And that is what Jesus is getting at. And so this man was a greedy man who simply was taking care of himself and he was not doing what he ought to be doing. Um, and even what God had set out in the law for providing for the poor in his country at that time. And this man was not taking care of that even. He was taking care of just himself. And so, again, that's the challenge. So today, as you go about your day, uh, think about this. What if today was my last day? You know, this is it. God was requiring my soul tonight. What would I be known for? Would I be known as a self-serving and greedy person? And, and, and that's not how we want to leave this world. I've done many funerals and uh, people always say very nice things. But sometimes after the fact, you hear, you know, some things that weren't so great. And uh, I know for myself, um, I, I would not want the world to know me as someone who is self-serving and greedy. So may we be successful in all that we do. And may we, through that success, provide, yes, for ourselves, but also provide for others. Have a great day. May the Lord bless you.